What do you mean, Supreme Court chick? What are you talking about? Remember during the Senate confirmation hearings when they had Katanji uh, Jackson? Uh, when they had her, when, when she was uh, being asked questions, and one of the a questions they asked her was, could you define a woman? And, and she hesitated a little bit, and she said, I can't. I'm not a biologist. And it was like across the country, the reverberations of the insanity, the stupidity, the idiocy of her inability, this woman who was chosen because she was a woman, Joe Biden told us he was going to pick a woman. Now, he got a double whammy, you know, because he got an intersectional double whammy because she was black and a woman. He told us he was going to pick his vice presidential candidate. He was going to pick a woman. He was going to pick a minority woman, right? One from the BIPOC uh, identification, political identification, uh, black, indigenous, and people of color. Well, he got a, he got a triple whammy because he got a black woman uh, with Indian roots plus a female. So you got a triple whammy there. Well, my whole point is, is that when President Biden, the old white guy, picks Katanji Jackson Brown, when he picks her, he picks her because of her gender. She's a female, right? And because of the color of her skin. But today's focus is going to be on the war on women. Now, how an H-E double hockey sticks did he know if she identified as a woman? Pretty presumptuous the way this whole LGBT transgender world is going. Remember, the cardinal rules, you're never to assume. Just because I look and I see a woman, and it's obviously a woman, I cannot assume that it is a woman. Or uh, obviously a man, I cannot assume it's a man unless they themselves, they and them, right, have identified as a woman, as a man, or whatever they feel like at that moment. But that really kind of, it was so funny because she responded and said, I'm not a biologist. You know, like you have to be a veterinarian to know what a dog is. You, you know, you, just stop and think of it. You, you have to be a, a meteorologist to know if it's raining out or not. I mean, th this is just an insane world we live in. So what I want to do is today we're going to really deal with uh, individuals who've gone around the country and have been asking the simple question, what is a woman? It was asked to the, now the, uh, the, the Supreme Court Justice, right, Katanji Jackson Brown. Uh, and it's been asked to a number of women, especially in the last about three to five to six years. So we're going to take you to Florida Gulf Coast University, Will Witt, who works for PragerU, and we're going to listen to him ask young ladies or people on the campus what a woman is and then hear their responses and their responses are classic classic wokeism illogical nonsensical right wokeism here goes you guys define a woman there is no like certain definition of a woman strong independent um free anybody who identifies himself with the term a woman strong-willed independent just succeeding in life, <laughs> trying their best. Yeah. Submissive. Um, let me see. I don't think a woman has to be feminine specifically. Like, I think a woman can be anything they want. They're beautiful, you know, sweet, sensitive creatures. But, you know, I think they're, uh, they're pretty great, you know? Yeah, I agree. Do you think that there are genetic or biological characteristics that define a woman? Um, uh, I... I that's a tough question. I think being a woman is a state of mind and like an identity rather than some... There is a biological term for being a female, of course, but it's a, it's who you are and who you define yourself as a person rather than what you're, what's between your pants. I feel like gender is pretty fluid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think you need to define any stuff, like anything like that. I don't really like to label things, you know, just uh, a woman, you know, women have their parts, but I feel like, you know, they can be whatever they want to be, you know? Do you think that I could be a woman? If you wanted, yeah. you definitely could. Yeah. And then as a healthcare professional, I just have to know exactly what parts they have so I know how to treat it. But at the end of the day, if that's what they choose to um, label themselves at, that's how they are. Yeah. Could a woman get testicular cancer? Yes. There's a lot of people right now who take the term woman and just put like a very broad stroke over it. And they do the same thing with the word man. And it kind of, you know, 
dilutes what woman actually means. The great characteristics about women, the things that make them great, it makes it so that anything or anyone can be a woman, which mm -hmm. kind of destroys in a sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like there's a difference between sex and gender. So sex is what's between your legs and that's what makes you biologically woman and man. But gender is how you feel, actually. Is it ever kind of like, it doesn't really matter how you feel because woman has a set definition. I think that gender is defined by genitals. I don't think that that's something that you can, that you can or should be able to change um, just because biology. Um, and then even then when you do change that, you're still, your biological and chemical makeup is still going to be, is, or if you're changing to a woman, then you're still male. There's so many different things people can identify as, like they, thems, or non-binary, like it all depends on the person and how you feel. But if you want to walk around and saying you're a woman with a penis, then good for you. I'm a woman with a penis, guys. <laughs> if that's what you feel, then you're a woman, you know? Yeah. yeah. So would you date me? Uh, <laughs> that's a tough question. <laughs> no, I don't roll that way. What, what do you mean? I'm a woman. I just said I'm a woman. I mean... With a penis. That's, that's, the, that's the tricky part. I don't, I don't like the penis part. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't see a lot of women with penises. Would you date that person if they were a man with a vagina? No, because I'm attracted to male. I have like a like type, so. People will say that's transphobic of you because you don't want to date someone who says they're a woman or says they're a man. I'm not discriminating anybody. It's just whatever I'm attracted to. I could be attracted to uh, a specific look or mostly if their interest is what attracts me most, so. It's unfair to say that I like to label someone as being transphobic or homophobic or, you know, all these phobias that we have nowadays just because I personally don't want to. Everyone is in this mindset of, but I don't want to offend you. I don't want to offend what you say you are and things like that. And that's just that. Thank you for watching the Jake Jacobs show. If you want to see more, go to Jake Jacobs show at Rumble, Jake Jacobs show at Rumble or hit the link below. And by the way, I love it when you make comments. In fact, a lot of times I like to read your comments live uh, during the show. And also, it helps a lot if you subscribe. So please subscribe. So until we meet again, happy trails to you.